Bonjour. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, what are you waiting for? Don't don't insult me like this. Why are you insulting me like this? Click the subscribe button and also click that thumb button and also click the God, there's too many clicks. Click the subscribe click the subscribe button. Click the thumb button if you like me and also click that bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. So if you are interested on how I did this look right here, please keep watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell and leave me a thumbs up before you leave and I will see you guys in my next video. So starting off with Milk and Magnesium as my primer, I have oily skin and my face doesn't respond well with other primers, but milk and magnesium. <laughs> if you don't know what milk and magnesium does, girl, you better look it up because I ain't. <laughs> Let me tell. <laughs> yeah, it helps you poop, okay? But <laughs> it helps my face look like shh, the shh, okay? So if it works for me, for my face, I'm good with it. If it works for my face, I'm good with it. Um, I like to, y'all, when I tell you guys that my eyebrows are not done, like literally, like I have to get them uh, waxed or shaped. I don't know, I'm not a makeup girl. I don't even know what you do with your eyebrows. All I know is I gotta get them uh, cleaned out, okay? I use my NYX uh, eyebrow gel in the color Espresso to do my brows. My brows weren't done, so I had to skip this whole brow process and just do my best. Do my best. Get them like a Nike sign. Do my best. Check, 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 check. Let me tell y'all about this foundation. I don't know how a musician comes out with the best foundation. Rihanna, girl, you you probably had like dark skin friends growing up. Or you probably still rock with your dark skin friends. Because this foundation, y'all, I'm not like dark, dark skin. But the fact that this foundation outbeats every foundation that I've tried, it's mind blowing. The fact that Rihanna, Rihanna, not, not, it's just surprising. Like a musician outbeats you influencers out there. Like, it's just, I don't know. Like, but this foundation, I have been using this foundation outside of everything that I have in my foundation drawer. It's been my monthly favorite, and I love it. I really do. What I like to do with my lids before I apply my eyeshadows, I like to go in with uh, a concealer and use my Sasha Buttercup baking powder to set my eyes before I do any type of eyeshadow look. Okay, I do that. And I let it sit for like 30 seconds and then I wipe it off. And as far as like palette, I'm going to be using my Juvia's, pa Juvia's Place. I always mess the name up. Juvia's Place Makeup Palette. I used the purple one. I don't know why I brought both of them out. But I didn't use my Zulu uh, palette, which was a small little kit. Yeah, I was mad when they put this on sale after I bought it. But it's okay. We're going to act like it didn't happen. Okay, we're going to act like it didn't happen. I'm going to use... Shoot. I'm going to have to place all the colors that I use down below. If you guys want to try it out for yourself. But everything I use, I'm going to leave them... I'm going to leave the name of the foundation, the eyeshadow palette, concealer. Everything that I used, I'm going to use... I'm going to leave them down below. See, this is why I don't like to do voiceovers. Because... I'd be messing up, okay? I'd be messing up. But I'm going to leave everything that I use down below in the description box, so peep out for that. Um, yeah, I don't like to go too extra with my eyes. I like to wear stuff that is not too much, but it's just enough, you know? Something that's not too... God dang, like, you put on too much. But at the same time, it's god dang, you look good. Like, I, I just like to do that. Like, I like looks that... It doesn't look like a lot, but it's just enough. Those are my go-to look. And for this look, it was kind of like a simple, but not simple slash natural, but not so natural look. And my Zulu palette or my Juvia's Palace uh, makeup palette was just for that. I used a two different dark brown shade 
one was dark brown the other one was light brown i will leave those two shades down below so peep out for that in my description box and those were the only two colors that i used i used the dark one for my eye uh my transition color and then i used the lighter one for the bottom lid is there such i guess that's the bottom lid for the bottom <laughs> you know what just watch the video and then i went in with my la pro concealer as my highlight for underneath my eyes i love this concealer i'm so mad that they got the price up for this concealer like it's now like 3.99 it used to be 2.99 like the fact that it's becoming so popular the company is starting to get too smart with it and they're hiring up the price i was so mad when i contour and highlight when i highlight and contour my eyes or well, my face i don't push the highlight towards my actual like all the way at the end of my face because i have a i have a round face when i do that it makes my face look whiter in pictures so i kind of stick like hey bop out I don't really speak English like that. So if I'm like stuttering in some of my words, I'm sorry. But I like to like stay with my highlight, like from my eye, the ends of my eyes, if that makes sense. The corner of my eyes to, you know what, let's not talk. I'll make a video about that. Let's move on to contouring. Contouring, I am using my Fancy Beauty Contour Stick. I didn't want to buy the two magnetic ones because I felt like it was going to be useless because I don't even like the contour shape for my eyelids my eyelids and underneath my eyes so i just bought the the contour stick the dark one shoot i'm not gonna be afraid to say that i was cheap I, rihanna's stuff was popping but it wasn't all that popping for me to spend over a hundred dollars overall i think i spent about 75 dollars with the contour stick the foundation and i also got the trophy wife and I have a review on her product, so if you are interested to hear my review on, on the fancy product, on the top three things that I bought that I feel like I would use on a daily or if I want to be, you know, extra underneath my selfies, with my selfies, whatever you want to call that, I bought those things for something that I would use. So if you want to hear my review on that, go ahead and click the link in my description box so with my contour i noticed that the contour stick dries out really fast you don't want to leave it on your face for long soon as you contour soon as you place those that contour stick on your face that cream honey go ahead and just wipe it off well not wipe it off but blend it because if you leave it on for a long time you're going to struggle when it comes to contouring your face using the fancy contour stick. Um, the, the blending brush doesn't work with the contour stick, but it works for my nose. That's why I use my brush to like blend my contour, all that good stuff. I don't know the proper word for makeup terms. I'm not a makeup guru, but I'm trying my best. Okay, I'm trying my best because some of y'all like my makeup and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a makeup tutorial because some of y'all like my makeup. If you follow me on Snapchat, if you haven't, don't insult me like that and follow me on Snapchat. But the rest of the makeup look is basically just self-explanatory. Like, I don't really like to do much, but when it's time to snatch my face, baby girl, best believe I'm going to come ready to snatch, okay? I love my Sasha Buttercup setting powder this is the only powder i use i don't use anything else i've tried the lock-in tattoo setting powder which i want to do a review on that as well and i also try the laura mercier and nothing out they don't beat sasha buttercup like sasha buttercup is just the best setting powder there is as far as like my eyeliner i don't really wear eyeliners but when i don't wear false lashes i wear eyeliners just to make my eyes pop which is reason why i'm actually wearing in this video i didn't put on false lashes i actually used my actual <laughs> god-given lashes surprisingly i didn't wear somebody else's lashes but i did wear somebody else's hair though so something had to we had to give and take 
I gave away my false lashes and I wore somebody's hair. That's that's basically how it works. If I don't wear false lashes, somebody have to give me something. So I wore somebody else's hair. Okay. But as far as like mascara, I love this freaking mascara. This is by far my favorite mascara when I don't wear my false lashes. If I want to make my eyes look like I have false lashes on, listen, I hooked some of my Snapchat family, okay, with this mascara. Go get you this mascara. I think it's called the Milani, Milani mascara. I'm going to leave everything that I use. Once again, I'm going to leave it down below in my description box. But yeah, we get the blending, we get the mixing. The mixologists, we get the blending, we get the mixing, get all that together. However, way influencers, beauty influencers use the term. But I like to go back in with my MAC NW44, I think it's called 44 powder, just to make that, that yellow undertone kind of go away. Because Sasha Buttercup, kinds of, it kind of comes in with like a little bit of the yellow undertone. It makes me look ashy. And we ain't trying to look like no gross sister, okay? I'm not trying to look ashy for the day. But I go in with that and kind of snatch and tone everything down. And then I go in with my favorite, favorite, favorite blush from Black Radiance. I will leave the name for that down below as well. I use that for, I use this blush for almost everything. Uh, my eyelids, my, just everything. Like, I'm surprised I haven't ran out of it yet because it's been like four months and I still have it. Let me tell y'all about this uh, highlight. Okay. This Maybelline highlighter is no joke. When I tell y'all, I used to hate highlighting until I tried out this Maybelline highlighter. I was like, bitch. Be, 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 be. What? 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 Look at that. Just, just look at that. I don't even have to explain. Just look at that. Girl, blind it. Look at the nose. Forget Rudolph. We are on little Rudolph. True. That's a cute highlighter. I got a Walmart if you are wondering. Um, it's the Maybelline Master. I will leave the link down. Well, I will leave the name of the highlighter down below if you want to purchase yours. Um, it's the best highlighter by far. One of the best drugstore. When they used to, when they hyped this product out, I was kind of like, y'all hype too many stuff on the internet. But when I tried it out, it, there's a reason why people are hyping up about this highlight. But I'm going to go in with my NYX uh, lip liner and then... I'm going to go in with my NYX Red Matte Lipstick. I think it's purple. I, I'm not a beauty guru, so it's like I should be prepared when I'm putting these things on here. And I shouldn't know what I put on. But really, everything that I put on, once again, is going to be in the description box. But if you guys like this tutorial and you would like to hear my voice in the tutorials. If you don't like to hear my voice, just let me know. I will just, you know, cancel myself out and just put music while I do tutorials. But if you like this beat, go ahead and click the thumbs up button. I love this elf. This is the only thing I use. I will be glad to do a monthly favor. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Also, for anyone that's interested, I did a review on this hair. So I'll leave the link down below as well. So if you are interested, click that link down below and it will take you to the review. So thank you guys. Once again, I'm out of here. Peace.